Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God! What happened? Oh, oh, what what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee, I, I don't know. Lee, what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your mouth. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wh what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own, I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lily. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. 
I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no. I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kaja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, 
I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Oh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? The 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Carly... You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine, uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road, and if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. 